Thank you. Thank you. The next question, the member for Scarborough Gilder. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. We just heard from the health table that Ontarians at high risk and vulnerable living in hotspot neighbourhoods are not getting vaccinated at the same rate as Ontarians in lower COVID communities. Homebound and disabled residents in my riding of Scarborough Guildwood are waiting for mobile teams to receive life-saving vaccine. These residents turn to my office every day to look for assistance, assistance that they are not getting from their government. Some struggle to get to clinics on their own, and it's really shameful. The Toronto Public Health is going to launch a limited pilot program for these, these residents who are in need. Why have they been forgotten from this government's plan? Justice Rosalie Abella pleads with us that we should view society through the lens of the vulnerable. Question. Speaker. Will this government appoint a person whose sole focus and responsibility is managing the coordination of life-saving vaccines to people with disabilities and homebound across this province? Minister Pell. Well, I thank the member very much for the question. This is a very important issue, and I can assure the member that we have, in setting up our a vaccine distribution plan, viewed it through the eyes of our most vulnerable, making sure that we will have a variety of options for people to receive the vaccine. We know that the mass vaccination clinics are not going to work for a large number of people, but we also have now, we're expanding into pharmacies, we're expanding into primary care facilities where some people with disabilities or with comorbidities would rather receive the vaccine. But I can also advise that our paramedics are now doing home visits to see people who are homebound and disabled to ensure that they receive the vaccines as well. That plan is already underway. The teams are already working on it. I just spoke to a person with disability who had a very poor experience uh, when he got himself to a clinic um, because he did not have a LIN code that he was supposed to have uh, to receive this vaccine. So more needs to be done in that respect. Um, speaker, Ontarians are reading and watching the reports of vaccination clinics sitting underutilized. Worse is the report of large amounts of vaccines sitting in Premier Ford's freezers, over 600,000. The rollout of this vaccination program has been frustrating for Ontarians to navigate, and with many barriers in incentivizing people to get the vaccine. Younger workers, especially low-paid, public-facing workers and frontline medical staff, are now at greater risk of the variants. And you know, they risk their lives each and every day. Many of these workers cannot afford to take Question. time off work to wait in lines to get vaccinated or if they have any adverse side effects. Jurisdictions like Saskatchewan have introduced special vaccination leave, and I'm asking this government today to provide a paid vaccination leave for these at-risk workers so that they can get vaccinated. Thank you. Minister Phil. Again, there are two points I believe that need to be answered here. One is the um, any suggestion that there are hundreds of thousands of vaccines just sitting in freezers. That is absolutely not the case. Every single vaccine has already been spoken for. It's already been booked for someone's mother, father, grandparent. They're, they are allocated. They are going to be given. With respect to the AstraZeneca vaccines that expire as of April 2nd, the 194,500 that we had, I can advise that as of today, there are 300 left. So they will be used before their expiry date. Not one vaccine is, is, is going to be misused or wasted. We want to make sure we can get every vaccine that we have into someone's arm. With respect to uh, people that are vulnerable, that are not able to take time off, uh, the answer isn't always giving them paid time off to do that. Another answer is Response. to take the vaccines into the communities where they are, which is what we are going to do with some of our community vaccines in the hot spots where we know that there are people that are having trouble because of work issues, language issues, um, being homebound, for example. Thank you. Thank you. 